Hey everyone, welcome to the We're All Hemingway talk. Uh, my name is Chris Mirzonev and I work for a company called Antidote. We help patients reaching clinical trials and we use React in all of our front end apps. Um, when I'm not working, um, I'm pretty much spending time with my family. We have two kids, uh, so I have to drive them around a bit for school and kindergarten. Um, I can cook at home, so my wife is uh, is cooking, I'm doing the dishes. I used to run before, I'm not running that much uh, recently, but I used to run before. And during all these three activities, I was um, I was actually listening to audiobooks. That's how I keep my brain working. Um, and I started by listening to nonfiction books, and then I moved to more like a fiction books. Um, and at some point, I, uh, being an author myself, I was thinking, why not my fourth book to be a fiction book? Because it, uh, so far, I was writing only technical books. Um, so I, I was thinking, why not trying something else? And um, I take this as a project. So I decided to approach this as I'm approaching all the other my projects, basically checking how to do it because I don't have experience writing fiction. Um, so I decided to kind of watch a tutorial about it. Like in this case was more of um, listening other books, which are books about how to write a book. And um, I find them really useful and started pulling out some quotes, uh, some tips from there. And when I have this kind of a big list, I was going through the list and I realized that actually most of these tips were working for software development as well. It wasn't just about writing fiction, for example. Uh, some of these advices were actually um, really good tips for programmers. Um, and if you look at the date of the first novel and the date of the first program, we see that there is this huge gap. Uh, so probably all these people that write amazing fiction books, they have something to like, teach us. Um, and roughly at this time, um, I watched a talk by Jane Creighton at uh, ReactConf 2019 uh, called React's Fiction. And I was like, oh, shit, it's not only me. It's, um, there are some other people which noticed the same thing. Um, so today I decided to share with you um, the most important tips which I found. Um, and I hope you'll, you'll find them useful as well. So the first thing which I believe most of writers of fiction actually face up is the blank page syndrome. Uh, when uh, you know you stare at the blank page and you don't know how you, you don't know how to start or you don't know how to continue writing, um, we have the same thing in programming as well. Especially when you join a new team or you just open a new code base or you are maybe more of a junior, uh, you, you don't really know how to, how to start writing something. Um, and here's what Hemingway say, um, write about what you know. And this may sound really simple thing, but I found that it works really well. Um, at least it works for me. Um, so let's take an example. Let's say that we have this component um, and we have to write this fetch comp component. It doesn't exist. We just receive this as a task. Uh, we know what the API should be. The component should accept uh, URL prop, should have a fallback, which is a component that we render when the data is loading. Maybe fallback is not the right naming, to be honest. But um, And then we have the data um, passed out of the component. Uh, so now if we don't have experience writing, uh, React applications. Maybe we know something about React, but not really a lot. So if you follow this advice about write what you know, um, you, you can just start by just rendering the fallback. I mean, this is the really basic thing with React, just about rendering something. So we just render the fallback. This is our first step. Then uh, probably if we start reading the documentation, we will um, see this thing called use state, which is like the basic building block about local state uh, management. And we will just reserve a place for the data. 
And if the data is there, we call the children, which we expect to be a function. Otherwise, we just render uh, the fallback components. And at this point, uh, we already have enough so we could start asking more questions. And I, I found out that this is really important stage where you have something to rely on and then you build on top of it because if you have nothing, you don't even know what to ask, actually. Um, so the next step will be to um, probably ask someone more experienced about how to handle uh, asynchronous operations, how to make uh, HTTP requests, uh, or maybe you just continue reading the documentation. You'll probably find out this uh, hook use effect. Um, and then you place inside the actual request, you get the data, and um, you send it out using the children function. Um, so this is the first thing which I found useful is when I, especially when I start something new, I write what I know <laughs> and then I build on top of it. Um, and this really puts you in a position of, um, of uh, asking questions, um, which is uh, a really good place to start with. Um, then uh, when you start knowing stuff, it comes the complexity. Um, when I was listening to all these books, I actually found out that there are complex books as well. The complexity is not only in software. <laughs> um, I listened to some books which were, um, they have many plot lines, they have many characters, a lot of connections between the characters. There are some flashbacks. So I have to be really listening. Um, for example, when I was running, it was difficult to listen to such complex books because I have to really be conscious about what's happening in the book. Uh, and we can talk a, a lot about complexity in, in, in software development, especially in, in um, our JavaScript um, ecosystem. And here is what Stephen King says uh, about writing. When you're writing a story, you're telling, the, you're telling yourself a story. When you're rewriting, you're taking out all the things that are not a story. And to be honest, if you're going to take something from this presentation, I want to be this last sentence. Um, what, I, what I'm making from this quote is that we should be taking out all the stuff which are not part of the story. And the question which I'm, ask, which I'm asking myself all the time is, is this part of the story? Every time when I'm writing a component or a function or whatever, I'm always asking myself, is this part of the story? And this is so powerful question to ask, especially when um, you have your first, um, your first draft um, of something, uh, then you should really asking uh, yourself, is this part of the story? And if we continue with the same fetch component, let's say that we have to handle the, uh, the error, for example, there is no error handling. And we receive another task about, uh, hey, we have to make sure that if, if there's an error, the app is just not crashing, um, and we have to render a message to the screen in case of, uh, in, in case of um, HTTP request failure. So uh, we write what we know. <laughs> so we just reserve some space for the error using another local state, and we attach a catch um, handler at the, at the end of the promise chain. So if there is any error, we just um, store the error in the local state. And then we have to show the message. We have to render the message to the user. And we could, I mean, we could check if the error is not no. Um, if it's not no, we just render this message. And here is the moment where uh, we have to ask, uh, is this part of the story? And to be honest, this message is not part of the story of this component because this component is just about fetching data. It's not about uh, copy. It's not about styling. Uh, it's just about getting the data or maybe handling if there's um, handling the error if there is any. Um, so this is definitely not part of this of the story of this component. Um, it's probably part of the story of the component which is consuming fetch. So what we can do is to check if there's any error. If there's an, any error, we could send the error as the first argument of the children. I mean, this is just my choice, but it could be any other signature. Um, and by doing this all the time, by asking yourself, is this, the, is this part of the story? You're basically writing um, uh, simpler components, at least 
that's my uh, that's my experience.